Yo there guys, what is up there? Welcome back to another video here on Nash Vlogs. Today, I, I thought I'd do this little speculation video. Now, obviously, Fort Park Fright Nights is currently happening. And one of the things a lot of people are asking for is that for Fright Nights 2021, their roaming team, also known as the Crows, which are absolutely terrifying. I'm not going to lie, they're the most terrifying things I've seen in my life. People are asking for the Crows to have their own maze in 2021. In this video, I'm going to be giving some speculation on if they do give the Crows a maze, where would it be? And just giving a bit of a speculation on what I would like to see in the Crows. So obviously, this isn't confirmed that they're getting a maze next year. This is just speculation. We probably won't hear anything for like 13, 14 months. But let's get straight into the video. So first off, we're going to talk about potential locations. Now, there's three potential locations that I personally think they could be doing the Crows maze next year. So we're going to go through this from what I think will be unlikely up to likely. So the first one, which I think is a unlikely place, is the Saw Alive boat. Now, those who have been to Fort Park Fight Nights over the last couple of years, you will know Saw Alive left the park last year and since then the boat has not been used whatsoever however the barbed wire on the saw alive queue line is currently being used for roots of evil now what story could they potentially use if they were to be using the saw alive boat for the crows so my personal opinion on what sort of story they could go with is that they could uh in the story is the story could potentially be that you are going to be entering an abandoned barn. Now, those who know about scarecrows, scarecrows are used predominantly on farms. So, the Saw Alive boat could potentially be themed to a an abandoned like uh, barn, uh, maybe the Creekwood barn. I don't, I don't know. And that you're going to be going through and and maybe. Residents of Old Town have been hearing unexplainable noises from 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 an abandoned barn. You know they they could if they were to do it in the Saw Alive boat, they could theme it quite well. I don't think they'd have to do too much reworking, uh, turning it from Saw to the Crows. They would just have to maybe add some farmyard theming. They could potentially get away with some of the old uh, Saw Alive theming being used as a barn like farm machinery maybe but the main reason I think it's unlikely that they will use the boat for that for like a crow's maze is because the boat needs repairs that is why Saw Alive closed it needed repairs I don't think they've done any repairs and also it's a health and safety risk so that is why I think it's very unlikely that they will use the Saw Alive boat for a potential crow's maze so the next potential which I think could be used for potential crow's maze is the route that is currently being used for Roots of Evil. Now, going back in Fright Nights history, you'll know uh, the, the path that Roots of Evil uses is a mix of the Jungle Escape Building and the old route of Blair Witch. Now, if they were to use the Roots of Evil path, this is how I think it would go. So I think they use a, a similar story to what would be used potentially on if it was to go in the Saw Alive boat. Now a lot of people would say, oh, if it's going to use the same route as Roots of Evil, it's going to enter through the Jungle Escape building and then exit down by Nemesis Inferno. I don't think so. What I think it will do, in my opinion, is it would be an upcharge attraction where you when you have your time slot you wait outside uh, the nemesis inferno gift shop this sounds so elaborate but just bear with me when it's your turn a, a staff member or an actor will come down and will take you up to the maze or when it's your time slot you wait outside uh, the gate that is currently being used for Roots of Evil's exit, and an actor will take you down to the old Blair Witch Shed, 
where you'll get a pre-show and you'll go backwards. So the Roots of Evil route will be reversed. So you go through the Roots uh, route at the moment and then you go across the compound and the finale will be in Jungle Escape where maybe you're bombarded with the crows. Um, and even in the outdoor section, there's some there's locations for the crows to jump out. Maybe it's a, uh, the military has been brought in to try and find out what's going on. And then you would exit through the double doors, which is currently being used as a fire exit in Jungle Escape, which means there could be a potential chase out. Now, I think it could happen, whether it would be using uh, the exact same routes as uh, Roots of Evil. So you go in through Jungle Escape and exit where Blair Witch exit, or you, you go in where Blair Witch used to exit and exit where uh, Roots of Evil enters, but um, who knows. And then the final location, which I think is very likely in my opinion, is the whole Jungle Escape building. So that means it would use the whole Jungle Escape building. So you would go in where currently Roots of Evil enters. You'd have a pre-show in that room. And you would traverse through the whole Jungle Escape route. And you would exit just like where um, where Vulcan Peak exits. Uh, where Vulcan Peak exited in 2018, which is into the Nemesis Inferno shop. So potentially, the reason why is... I think it would use the Jungle Escape building. It's because the Jungle Escape building, it's been used for like foresty sort of mazes before. Obviously, it's currently partially being used for Roots of Evil. Um, in the past, it's also been used for uh, Vulcan Peak in 2018. And before it became uh, Jungle Escape, it was used for I'm a Celebrity. And then before that, Studio 13, The Asylum and The Freezer. You know, so I think the Jungle Escape building is the most likely place that we would see a crow's maze. And there's jungle theming in there, so they could really make it quite dense with smoke and lighting. And ju just having those crows, even if it used like the Roots of Evil route like, that it's currently using now, there's opportunities for those crows to jump out of bushes. And I do believe at the moment, at Fright Night, the crows have now started using bushes as their scares for their scares. When I was last there, they were not using bushes. They were just using the crosses and walking around the park. Which I'm not looking forward to when I go back. Hopefully, either on the, it's going to hopefully be back. or I'm going to be going back on the final day. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Where, where would you put the crows if they were in a maze? Where would you put them? Where on the park would you do it? Would you keep it a roaming team? Or would you give them a scare zone? Or would you uh, have it? in the same location as me. Uh, let me know in the comments guys, like, comment and subscribe. We are getting closer to 400 now, let's try and get to 400 by the end of 2020. Anyway guys, like, comment and subscribe. I've been Nasha, this has been another video on Nasha Vlogs, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.